Hi, my name is EJ Massa. I'm not really a buffalo wings kind of guy. Sure, I'll have a wing here or there, especially if it's smothered in blue cheese or even a buffalo chicken mac and cheese, but it's not my go-to. I prefer like a honey barbecue wing, that sort of flavor profile. But recently a fan sent me lots of sauces from Buffalo, and well, that inspired me to purchase a few readily available Buffalo wing sauces and review them tearless style. In a segment I'd like to call Buffalo Tears. Wait, that's the logo? Well, that's just too sad. I don't want to see that. Man, I'm just bummed out. Buffaloes shouldn't feel sorrow. In addition to the sauces I was sent, I picked up Sweet Baby Ray's wing sauce and Frank's wing sauce because when I think of a basic hot sauce, I think of Frank's. And what exactly makes a wing sauce? Well, I have Meathead's book here and he talks about buffalo sauce's origins, so let me read an excerpt. At the fabled Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, Teresa was shutting down the kitchen, so she looked for something quick and easy. She had a box of wings to use for making soup, and thinking on her feet, she tossed them into the deep fryer, which was still hot. When they emerged, she sprinkled them with hot sauce and some melted margarine to make sure the boys had a well-rounded meal. She added a side of celery and blue cheese dressing to dunk the celery into, and the boys dipped both the celery and the saucy wings into the blue cheese dressing, and the international sensation was born. So basically the sauce is made with margarine and hot sauce, and many of these sauces I have here have a cayenne pepper base with an oil or margarine component. The only ones that don't have an oil component are the Anchor Bar hot sauce and the Duff's hot sauce. Also the hot version of the Buffalo Mafia sauce. So I'll keep that in mind during my taste test. Speaking of Meathead, he has a blue cheese sauce recipe in the book, and I'll think I'll use that as a palate cleanser in between tastings. So let's make it. Into a bowl goes three ounces of cream cheese, three ounces of blue cheese crumbles, both of these at room temperature, and one half teaspoon of Meathead Simon and Garfunkel rub, which has the following ingredients. After mixing those ingredients, I added one half cup of half and half and a half cup of sour cream. Then I mixed all those until they are well incorporated and creamy. Grab some celery and I have a perfect side for my buffalo sauced feast. The meat vessel for the sauce for this initial taste test will be these frozen chicken nugs. Sure, they're not real wings, but it'll give me a good idea of the flavor of the sauce. The winner of this taste test will have the honor of being used on real wings coming off my cooker later this episode. First up on the list is Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. I think it's only right we start off with what I think of when I think of hot sauce. It has a nice glossy red color, but how does it taste? A little heat, a little oily mouthfeel, definitely has that vinegary Frank's taste. It's okay. Nothing stands out. I'm going to throw it in C tier. Anchor Bar, the sauce that started it all. Now, this is just the hot sauce. There's no oil or margarine component, but it has a similar look and viscosity to the Franks. Okay. A little more tangy. Even though there's no margarine or oil in it, it coats the mouth well. A better cayenne flavor than Franks. Definitely giving this B tier. Another strictly hot sauce, we have Duff's. Looks very similar to the Anchor Bar sauce. Oh, even tangier than Anchor Bar. Definitely could have used some butter or margarine, but the cayenne taste and heat is very on point. It's spicier than the Anchor Bar sauce, but I think they're on the same level. B tier. Sweet Baby Ray's. Now, Ray's obviously has a special place in my heart because of their flagship barbecue sauce. This looks lighter and creamier than the previous three sauces. Hmm. Definitely way more oily and a strong vinegar taste. The cayenne and heat are lower than I'd like. I hate to say it, but even though Sweet Baby Ray's is my favorite barbecue sauce, I think this is a weaker offering. I put it in C tier. Same as Frank's. Lenovo, 
Here's the one that caught Junt's eye during the unboxing. That one in particular appeals to me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know I, why. The orange? Yeah. Yeah. It makes me want to cook a nice dish with it. And I have to say, there is something appealing about the packaging. It's straightforward. Unpretentious. The sauce looks very similar to Ray's sauce. Nice and creamy. Huh. But the taste is unremarkable. Very subdued flavor all around. It's got some creaminess to it, but... No strong tanginess, pretty weak overall. D tier. This would definitely disappoint Junt. Bar Bill Tavern Wing Sauce. The design flourishes here make me think this sauce has Wi-Fi turned on. A reddish brown color and the consistency is thicker than the previous sauces, like a slightly thinned out ketchup. Oh wow, that's nice. It's got sort of a mustardy taste to it, almost like a burger secret sauce. Great heat, very rich, complex, deep flavors. Umami. And it makes sense that it's so complex with the amount of varied ingredients in it. And you still have that iconic cayenne taste. This is the best one so far, so I'm going S tier. Hell, I'd put this on a sandwich or a burger, it's so good. Bill's Mafia Tailgate Sauce, mild and hot versions. Apparently both these Bill's Mafia sauces are exclusive to Wegmans, First, let's try the mild, which has a lighter, creamier looking texture. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It almost has a slight burger sauce taste in there as well, but much more subdued than Barbell's. Very creamy, tangy, but light heat, as would be expected from the mild label that they put on there, but it's a good heat. I personally could use a bit more heat, but I'm going to give it an A. Very solid, surprisingly. It's almost like a go-to classic buffalo wing taste. You know, maybe a little extra flavor on top. Good job, sports. You did it. So now the Bill's Mafia Tailgate Sauce Hot version. It's thinner and a deeper red. Huh. It's definitely got slightly more heat. But honestly, not much more than the mild. It has a tang to it, but it's... It's a tanginess that kind of turns somewhat unpleasant, almost bitter or I don't want to say vomit but vomit adjacent that doesn't sound good but the mild is way better this one's missing something it falls very flat I'm gonna say F tier what happened to you sports you used to be cool so the far and away winner is the barbell sauce it has undoubtedly a classic buffalo taste but its own complex flavors which it brings to the table which makes it stand out among the pack so I'll make some real party wings with this, at least half the wings. The other half, I'll use the Duff's hot sauce, which I like slightly better than the Anchor Bar sauce, to make a traditional wing sauce. But instead of margarine, I'll use Kerrygold butter because life is too short to waste on hydrogenated oils. I melted a stick of butter, added a half cup of hot sauce, and finally, two minced cloves of garlic. I used the garlic press for this. And then I mixed it all together. For the wings, I got these whole wings because they were cheaper and used chicken shears to separate them from their upper and lower halves, removing the wing tips. The wing tips can be frozen and saved for making soups or gravy. I seasoned the wings with my all-purpose rub, basically salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and sprinkled a little barbecue rub on it. I'm using the barbecue rub from Killer Hogs, one of my favorites. And for today's cook, I'll be using my favorite device to make wings, the Vortex, in a Weber charcoal grill. Filled that Vortex with charcoal and used a flamethrower to light it. It took about a minute to have it ashed over, and after that I added the grill grate and the lid and made sure all the vents were wide open on top and bottom to let the temperature come up to around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Added the chicken wings in an aesthetically pleasing circle, closing the lid, and cooking those for about 10 minutes before flipping them over, cooking them 10 minutes more, flipping them over again, until finally, after a total of 25 minutes, they were done. They were perfectly cooked, perfectly crispy chicken wings. Aw, oh, geez, I need sauce music for the next step. Does anybody have any sauce music? Ah, oh, yeah, sauce music, let's go.
This is the barbell sauce. That deep complex flavors help so much more by the grill. That charcoal just enhances everything. That umami flavor, that the spice is enhanced, that kind of like burger sauce, mystery burger sauce flavor is enhanced and it marries so well. The buttery duff sauce. It's very much a traditional buffalo wing sauce. Although the Kerrygold butter really enhances it. You won't get that in any of these bottled sauces. So I'd recommend getting your favorite hot sauce, mixing it with Kerrygold butter and some garlic, and you'll be well served. The barbell sauce is quite good. Turns out the reason I didn't like buffalo sauces is that I hadn't found the right one yet. Definitely gonna use that on some of my sandwiches for lunch, maybe a burger, sky's the limits. If you wanna have a wing sauce on the more sweeter side of things, check out the sauce I made for the Vortex review I made for this channel. I usually throw a few squeezes of sriracha in there as well. And let's be frank, there's hundreds, if not thousands of wing sauces all over the place, so I really only scratched the surface. What's your favorite wing sauce? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye.